I am here to stay. Hello, I'm Prophetess Therese, and I am back with another prophetic word from the Lord. God says to you today, I am here to stay. And of course, this word is in for everyone. So I want you to take this back to the Lord in prayer. And if this is your word, the Lord will confirm it to you. But for who this word is for, God is saying, I'm here to stay. Someone is saying, I am here to stay. And so, of course, when the Lord gave me this word, the first scripture that came to my mind is, I will never leave you nor forsake you. But God says, yes and no. In this particular message, I want you to stress that someone that I'm sending is here to stay. God says, I am opening up doors of new relationships. I am opening up doors of people, certain people that will enter into your life who are here to stay, whether that be in a kingdom marriage, whether that be in a divine connection, hallelujah, wherever that place may be, God says, God says, I am sending them, but they're also here to stay. And so I started to get downloads about why is this word so necessary for me to release? And the Lord revealed to me that so many of us have experienced, even in 2023, you know, um, people who have entered into our lives who were just only there for a season that were only there for selfish motives, that were only there for their own benefit and who um, basically left our lives. There are some people who abandoned us. There are some people who walked out of our lives. There are some people who betrayed us. There are some people who just left us hanging you know, after they got what they wanted from us, right? And so God says, here's a word for you. Here's a word for you. I'm opening up a door where someone's going to enter into your life who will be here to stay. God says, these are their very words. I am here to stay. Someone is saying in their heart and their mind and in their actions that I am here to stay in your life. Hallelujah. And so the Lord brought me to the book of Ruth, chapter 1, verse 14. And it says, At this they wept aloud again. Then Orpah kissed her mother in law goodbye, but Ruth clung to her. Okay. And then if you go down to verse 16, it says, But Ruth replied, Don't urge me to leave you or to turn back from you. Where you go, I will go. And where you stay, I will stay. Hallelujah. Your people will be my people and your God will be my God. And so the Lord kept stressing the word stay, stay, you know, and, and God wants someone here to be encouraged today that I am here to stay. There are just going to be some people who are going to enter into your life through that door who are not just entering into that door in your life. But they're also going to stay, okay? <laughs> they're going to stay, okay? For some who are uh, entering into kingdom marriage, God says, not only will you fall in love, but you will stay in love. Not only is this word for kingdom marriage, but this word is also for divine connections, okay? God is saying, there are some certain people that I have sent or I'm sending in your life who are not just going to be there for a season, but are here to stay wholeheartedly. Because if you see in the book of Ruth, Naomi had two sons who married two Moabite women, Orpah and Ruth. And when, okay, when Naomi's husband passed away, later on, her two sons passed away, which were her daughter-in-law's 
husbands. And so at that point, Naomi decided to leave that place where she was at and her daughter-in-laws wanted to follow her, but she told them, no, like, you know, just go ahead. You don't got to come with me and things like that. And she, you know, she, you know, told them they could go and, and they, and the Bible talks about how they cried, you know, aloud. They, you know, they wanted to go with her, but at the end, Oprah gave her the kiss, which is on, in, in chapter one, verse 14, you know, it says, then Oprah kissed, Oprah kissed her mother-in-law goodbye, but Ruth clung to her. And so what God is saying through that scripture in, 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 in this particular message, he, he wants it to be revealed that there are just some people who see that you or feel that you can no longer benefit them, you know, and that's what Oprah felt. She felt like, okay, Naomi, you're right. You can't benefit me anymore. You know, be following you will not be a benefit because, you know, your son is dead. And so what more can, you know, I receive from you, but in, in another sense, it could be, you've done, you know, what else, what more can, can you offer me than you have already? So I am going to go the other way. Peace out. You know what I mean? Low key, right? But not Ruth. She wholeheartedly wanted to continue that relationship with Ruth. I'm sorry, with Naomi. And it was more so different. It was a different type of relationship than, than Oprah had with her because it was more so she was like, you know what? I don't know 100% what the future may bring, but I know the Lord is telling me to, to, to you know, to continue to follow you and, and to continue to um, continue to be involved with your life, continue to keep a relationship, to continue to be there for you, to continue to, to, to cling on to you. And lo and behold, later on in the story, in the book of Ruth, you know, there, there wound up being a relative from, um, Naomi's husband that passed away, who name was Boaz, who noticed Ruth. Okay. And who basically, was able to um, not only recognize her, but was also, you know, able to bless her, to bless her, you know, with the field that she was gleaning from. And so what God is saying to someone here today, you know, although we grieve from the people that walked out of our lives and things like that, I don't see in, in, the, in the word where Naomi was grieving, um, Oprah leaving, you know, walking out of her life. No, she just kept it going, kept, kept, kept it moving. And she, you know, was so blessed and thankful that Ruth clung to her and how Ruth became a blessing to her life, you know? And so God wants you to be encouraged today that he is opening up a door where he is going to send a certain person in your life a certain people in your life that is going to be with you wholeheartedly, not more so for what they could get from you, not, you know, and, and those who are in your lives right now, those people who left your life, God is saying, I'm, I'm not sending those type of people to you. I'm sending people to you now that's going to stay. Okay. The kingdom spouse that I'm sending you is going to stay. Hallelujah. That divine connection. Hallelujah. That that help that I'm sending you through someone is here to stay. There are just some people who are going to be sent in your life. Who God is opening up a door to enter into your life that are here to stay. That don't have selfish motives. Because if you think about it, Oprah could have told Naomi, listen, even though you can't it seems like you can be of no benefit to me now that your son is gone. I still, you know, want to ride with you. She, she really believed, you know what? You're right. You can't benefit me anymore. So I'm out of here. I'm going the other way. And she wanted to go worship her gods, you know? And so she wanted to do her thing. So God wants you to know today that for this very reason, I am going 
to bless you with that Ruth, that Ruth that's going to support you, that Ruth that's going to have your back, that Ruth that is here to stay. How she was here to stay with Naomi. And so I thought that was interesting. And, and again, I believe that this message is so important because so many people right now are going through um, abandonment are going through rejection, are going through betrayal. Betrayal is at an ultimate high right now because the Bible says in the last days that people will be lovers of themselves and money. And so, so many people will do anything by enemies, but do anything by any means, you know, to, 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 to be successful or to get what they want, even if they got to hurt you. And this is things that I've experienced. That's probably why the Lord had me deliver this today, because not only is the Lord using me to 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 prophesy that someone is saying in their heart, mind and actions, I'm here to stay. But God wants you to know that he it's coming from him. And it is possible because it was possible when God did it for Naomi. So you cannot say, no, there can't be anyone who's going to come into my life that's here to stay. Yes, people come and go, but guess what? Naomi, I'm sorry, Ruth was was willing to stay until the very end. So there are some people that God already showed. I'm sorry, there is someone who can actually who we can actually say this happened for in the Bible. And there may be some people that that you can attest that is in your life right now that's been here to stay. But just, but God wants you to understand today, this word is for someone or some of you who have been experiencing betrayal, rejection, abandonment, okay? And things of that nature where someone who's come into your life only to still kill and destroy, only to, 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 for the, for, for selfish motives, only to get what they could get and leave. And so I know what that's like. And so I just want to encourage you today that there are going to be certain people in your life, certain friendships in your life, and a certain spouse in your life, if you don't have one already, that is going to be here to stay. God says they will be here to stay. They're not going to just enter into that door of your life and leave like the other one did. These are, this is a word for those who are going to receive certain people in their lives that are going to be here to stay. And I, and I believe that God is stressing this word of, of importance because he knows that this word is going to be for uh, even many of you who have been dealing with things of this nature. You know what I mean? Some people have been dealing with a lot of with a lot of betrayal doesn't mean it has to be through a lot from a lot of people but it just it's just that that of uh, you dealing with someone or some individuals walking out of your life and they did it on with the same motive as orpa because they felt like you can't benefit any benefit them anymore and sometimes in 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 Sometimes in this life that we live in, sometimes we tend to think, or I used to think, or, or people would still think that I don't need you. I would never need you, but you never know who's, who, who's going to need you. You never know. I never know who's, who I'm going to need. And, 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 and they, and, and they would never know, you know, they never know if they're going to need me, you know? So in other words, we don't know when we're going to need each other. And this is why we got to be careful of what bridges we're burning with certain people. Again, I personally uh, feel like you never know when you're going to need someone. And so this is why it's so important to uh, check our motives of, you know, why we are, are moving how we're moving or ending you know, certain relationships or crossing one another, because at the end of the day, 
you know, if it's, if it's being done, you know, with the intention of, well, I got what I want. I don't need you no more. You know, God is not pleased with that. And so uh, some of you watching me right now have been treated like that. And God knows that. And God is saying, I want to encourage you right now that I am sending some people who are saying in their hearts, mind, and action, I am here to stay. I'm not entering into your life just to leave it. I'm, I'm here to stay with the purpose of being a blessing, with the purpose of, of serving you, with the purpose of just allowing the Lord to have his way with these divine connections. And again, even in kingdom marriages, God is saying, this is not going to be your typical marriage. This is not going to be uh, um, a marriage where, you know, someone is, is just, you know, coming in it for the wrong reasons and then they're going to end it. So be encouraged today that in this new year that God is opening different doors in your life. Not just one area, but different areas. And the area that I'm talking about right now, God is opening doors. Hallelujah. Of the right relationships of the right relationships of those who are here to stay and who are here to stay to be a blessing and who you will be a blessing to where it be reciprocal because you have been being the blessing being the blessing and then and and then after you be the blessing to the, to certain people they just leave your life and God is sick and tired of that this is why God is raising some of us up to enter into people's lives but for others to enter into our lives who are not going to do us dirty like that who are really going to be here to stay and going to be here to stay so that we could both be a, a, a blessing to each other so that we can be team players so that we can um advance the kingdom of god together okay in kingdom marriage and also in our workplace And although it may seem like in these last days, it's hard to find um, uh, anyone who will come correct in this way. God is saying with men, this is impossible. But with God, anything is possible. So be expectant, be declaring and believe today that God has already orchestrated and set up and ordained doors to be open of the right people that will be in your life who, or, or, or who are in your life right now that are not just coming, you know, temporarily. And sometimes people are not just temporarily in our lives for selfish motives. I don't want you to think that. But then there are some people who come into our lives temporarily for selfish motives. Those, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's what God wanted me to stress. And because there are some people who didn't just come in your life temporarily for no reason. There are some people who strategically came in your life temporarily because they had selfish motives. And that's why God is saying, now I got to bless you with people that will come with the right motives that will be here to stay. Because he knows that we cannot do life alone. Okay? And some of us have so, so many tears behind circumstances like this behind betrayals like this behind um abandonment issues because of this and so god is saying i am healing hallelujah i am healing you i'm healing you through this word right now and i'm also healing you through the doors that i'm opening for people certain people to enter into your life that are going to stay for the right reasons. And that's just going to stay. And continue to stay for the right reasons. You understand? So just be encouraged today. That. God. Is omnipresent. He, he knows everything that's going on. And he just wants you to know. That he is going to make up. For all the times. 
that you've been done wrong like that. And he's going to make up for it by having the right people sent in your life for such a time as this. That's going to come for selfless gain. And that's going to stay. But that's also going to become a blessing in your life and vice versa. So it's, it's an awesome thing that God is doing this in this hour. Okay? So just be encouraged today that help is on the way. Okay? And that God is opening doors even of the right relationships. God is opening up doors of the right relationships. Okay? In this season, he is opening up the doors for those who have suffered much betrayal and abandonment from individuals that came in for selfish gain and then left after they got what they wanted. So listen, God is going to compensate you for all your pain and suffering. Not only financially, but he's going to do it by sending you, hallelujah, that right kingdom spouse and those right friendships. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I just want to pray right now for every heart right now that's been hurting, that's been grieving, that's been broken, that the Lord do a quick healing and recovery over you today in Jesus name and that no weapon formed against your heart shall prosper and that you will receive this word today for those who this word is for that God hallelujah has a Ruth for you hallelujah that's going to stay that's going to stay who has the right motives for you and those who left your life with the motives of Orpa that they felt that you couldn't benefit anymore, they will see, hallelujah, God says, they will see and they will regret. They will see and they will regret what they have done to you. Your portion is healing, recovery, And relationships that are built, are building to last. Relationships that are going to be built to last. Marriage that's going to be built to last in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Receive today. Hallelujah. That it is your time to receive your kingdom spouse. That is here to stay. New friendships. That are here to stay. Friendships that you have already. That God has already orchestrated. In your life right now. Are here to stay. Hallelujah. And that every orpa in your life. Is being exposed in this hour. So that you will no longer. Be drained. So that you will no longer be taken advantage of. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. I thank you today, hallelujah, that those who are waiting on you, Lord God, that you are in this hour renewing their strength. Hallelujah. Those who are hoping in you, Lord God, to vindicate them. Hallelujah. You will do it swiftly in this hour in the name of Jesus. No more delay in vindicating those who've been oppressed and who have been, been uh, dealing with injustice long enough. Hallelujah. I decree and declare a release of help over the people right now, Lord God, who has been used and abused. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Thanks for watching. And if this word bless you, give it a thumbs up, like, comment, share. And if you want to sow into this word, I will leave the information down below. 
send me your prayer request so I can stand in agreement with you. And I pray over every seed that the Lord bless some a hundredfold and a thousandfold in the name of Jesus. And I will see you next time. God bless. Mm -hmm.